Are you stuck in your content creation because you can't figure out which topics you should be creating content on? Well, here's my recommendation. Just start creating content. Just press the record button. Just start writing on the things that you feel are important. Especially as you think about what you are building a business on or what you might want to build a business around. What topics are important in that field? Thinking about the potential customers or clients in your business, what questions do they have that someone like you, an expert like you, a business like yours, should be able to answer? Just start creating content on these things. Don't worry about whether you are focusing on the right topics, the right keywords. Don't worry about that. That may be stopping you from getting into, from growing this muscle of content creation, which you need to grow anyway. Even if you had all the perfect topics, you still have to learn how to do video or how to write a blog post or do it on a consistent basis. That's another muscle that, that we all need to build, those of us who are, who are serious about serving the world with our message. Start creating content, start sharing it, and then once you start sharing enough content, right, you're going to be able to then observe which of your content pieces does better, meaning it gets more engagement than your other content pieces. And then from that data of noticing which ones are working for your audience, then you can start to put those into categories. Ah, out of my, you know, I've been doing random pieces of content and maybe the, I end up talking about 20 different topics, but I noticed that my audience particularly loves it when I talk about, you know, topics two and five and 12 or whatever it may be, you see. Put the content out there first, share it as widely as, as appropriate as you can, and then start to notice the data of what's working and then you can decide on the categories because then it's not you deciding on the categories, it's the market, it's the audience telling you what they want you to make. That is the best way to decide what categories or topics uh, you ought to be creating. So now let me talk about what, how I'm doing it in my business. I've been creating videos consistently now since the middle of 2015. In middle of 2015, I gave myself a, a challenge to do 100 videos, um, pretty much basically Monday through Friday and, until I finished. And then after that, I started doing these three times a week videos. So I've made a lot of videos. I've written a lot of blog posts, hundreds by this point, since uh, 2015. And recently, I, in the past year really, I started to realize, oh, I want to be writing my blog posts. What, I make my videos so that it inspires me to write my blog post. And I write my blog posts because those are potential chapters for my books. So that's how I'm thinking about it. So I, I make three videos a week and therefore three blog posts a week as well. And one of my blog posts or end videos is thinking about my upcoming book that I'm gonna be you know, putting together. And then the second video or top uh, blog post is thinking about the book after that because I've already done enough content where I notice what my audience wants and so I've kind of created a list of topics that I love to talk about and my audience likes for me to talk about. So then I basically have decided that those are going to be my books. So I make these videos that inspire my blog topics or blog posts which then become book chapters. And the third video of the week and blog post of the week is basically I kind of reward myself and say I can talk about whatever I feel is important or whatever I want to talk about. So I hope that's helpful. Just get going with your content and then decide the topics and themes later.